What is going on YouTube? I'm back with another knife review and this knife is fairly new within the two next last two weeks. I've been looking at it. I finally pulled the trigger on it and boy am I glad I did. Woo! It is no secret that I am a Rough Rider fanboy. So yes, again, I'm going to be reviewing another Rough Rider knife and I will probably be reviewing multiple other Rough Rider knives here in the future. But this one caught my eye immediately. They've done tests at uh, SMK, uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com. Uh, they did a test where they carved a whole pumpkin with it. Carving a whole pumpkin with a traditional knife is pretty impressive if you ask me. Especially a traditional knife that only costs you $14.99. And that is pretty impressive. And of course, I am talking about the brand new carnivore jack now this is my first muskrat pattern and boy is this sweet check this out has a decent pull nothing too strong it's definitely not the workman's knife how i reviewed the last time but it is strong enough i wouldn't expect it to have the same amount of pull because this is a muskrat pattern and it is a very unique muskrat pattern because here is your plain edge with that beautiful, beautiful swedging. Oh, I love a good swedge right here. Great finish to this knife. And then if you flip it over for those real, real hard tasks, you have a 100%, maybe 95, because it's right here, serrated. It's completely serrated. Look at that. Match strike poles which is pretty awesome. I want to apologize. I am losing my voice a little bit, but I wanted to get on here and uh, tell you about this. The fit and finish of the Rough Rider knives that are coming out right now are pretty damn amazing. Look at that. You can't talk smack about that. Pardon the, uh, the nails. That is very, very impressive. If you look, the only thing, if you pull it up and do the light test, there is a minute, and I mean minute, little gap right somewhere in there. I couldn't even tell you, and you honestly couldn't even see it to the naked eye unless you held a flashlight up to the back and you could see a little bit on there. The blade centering, it comes with half stops. Look at this. Oh, yeah, half stops. That is a beautiful knife. Bone handle, black bone handle. The pinched nickel bolsters with the slanted R. Oh my goodness. I pulled this knife out and I was like, man, they got something here. I was never a fan of the muskrat pattern until I saw this. And now I get it. I like it a lot. It's really nice. It's really nice. The blade centering on the muskrat, on the carnivore jack, that is pretty damn close to perfection pretty damn close for $14.99 you can pick this up for $14.99 it is impressive but this is why I like this knife so much because it is something that I have never seen a company do they are making a traditional pocket knife not only for an amazing price and not only for amazing quality for that price I mean let's let's face it there's a lot of companies that are out there that are charging a lot more that don't get that fit and finish. It's just facts. And I said it before and I'll say it again. These are comparable to case all day long. And I will, I will go to my grave saying that. Um, but man, do I love the marketing on this. Oh, the marketing is so freaking smart. It is just the smartest damn thing I've seen in a while. Who doesn't want a personal, a personal steak knife in their pocket. Not only do you get this, but it comes with a badass leather sheath with a pocket clip. So if you don't want it rattling around in your pocket, you just stick that in there. Bam, fits in there. It won't fall out. It's pretty secure. Right in the pocket. You don't even notice it's in your pocket. That is brilliance right there. But they're, uh, they're catering to, I, I think, a very missed uh, market out there. How many traditional slip joint users or how many knife users 
pull out their knife at a restaurant because we're knife guys. That's what we like to do to cut our steaks. This right on the back, boom. It says the Rough Rider Carnivore Jack is a personal two bladed steak knife based on tr a traditional pattern. It features one plain and one serrated blade for whatever meat cutting needs might be. Carry it everywhere you eat. This is brilliant. It's brilliant. I love it. As soon as I saw it, I'm a big food guy. I love to cook. And I was like, I have to have that. That has to ride in my pocket in a steakhouse. Not only that, but damn, does it look cool. Like it just looks cool. It, it comes out of the box. It is damn sharp out of the box. I will say that. Let's do a, uh, a little cut test here. It's 440A steel. I know we got some uh, steel snobs in here. I am perfectly fine with 440A in a traditional. I'm not a hard user on traditional knives. This is supposed to be a personal steak knife. I don't need M390 to cut a steak. And for 15 bucks, 440A is pretty damn good. And every Rough Rider that I've used, that I've sharpened on 440A, it reacts a lot like OS 8, in my opinion. But, I mean, come on, guys. Like, that is damn sharp. That is damn sharp. And it's sharp looking. It's sharp looking. It is sleek and slender, even if you don't want to use the pocket clip. I like that. I can't get over the marketing. I'm such a sucker for marketing. I like going to the grocery store and I like reading labels and stuff. And it is just so smart. I am a sucker for marketing. I really like this logo. The only, the only critique I would have about this knife is I wish they would have put this logo as the shield. I think that would have been brilliant and then had an R in between where the knife and RR right in between the knife and fork. I think that would have been uh, the bee's knees, man. That would have been just the coolest thing ever to have a knife and fork and people were like, what is this knife for? This knife's for eating. I love it. I love it. Uh, you guys got to get one. If you're a fan of the muskrat pattern, even if you're not, my goodness. And for fifteen nine or for fourteen ninety nine, excuse me, uh, man, you'd be you'd be crazy not to buy one. Real bone handles, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, I know there was some concern I posted on social media last night. How excited I am about this! And people were like, "Oh man, that looks hard." to grab the blades out. You do have to use the nail nick on the plain blade. That's fine. But my nails are very short. I'm a nail biter. I, I work a very stressful job and I bite my nails. So I have no problem. And those half stops are nice. The lock up or the, the, the snap on them is decent. It's decent. It's nothing like, oh my gosh, it's not a gator snap but I wouldn't expect it to be a gator snap on a muskrat pattern. It's a very thin blade. So I would assume if you had too strong of a pull, it would be a nail breaker, okay? I think this knife is damn near perfection for what you're paying for it. I've seen knives go for 60, 70 bucks and they don't look as good as this. They're not this classy. The damn marketing alone, my God, the box is worth 12 bucks comes with uh, a magnetized box it's really cool has the bag sits in there even for a collector oh my goodness oh let's get that out of there boom that's how it comes comes in a bag oh it wants to be carried it says use me eat a flame and yawn with me it's okay i'm worth it and yes it is it is worth it 100 percent uh Boy, I'll tell you what, people think, uh, do you have anything bad to, about, to say about Rough Riders? For the price, no, I don't. I, I mean, if I had something bad to say about it, I would. The only critique I would have, and that would just be a personal preference, is, boy, would that be cool to have that on this shield. The shield's cool. It's, it's, 
And all it says is RR, hand built. It's tough. It's tough looking. It's classy looking. It fits good in the hand. I got gigantic gorilla mitts. Gigantic. I'm 6'4", 320. And I can hold that all day long. I wear a size 12 ring, something like that. And I can hold that in my hand. And I don't, I mean, I want to eat a steak right now. This looks good, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Right here, steak, nice steak. Nothing too big, something like 42 ounces, just a nice light snack, something crazy like that. This is a smart, smart knife for, I think, very smart people who are going to buy this. And also, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like full serration. I'm one of those people, I would rarely buy a knife that's full serration. And I'll tell you, I'm looking at this full serration more and more going, boy, that is cool. That is cool. You can cut rope with that. You can cut through a, a, a steak with that. You can cut through any little hard piece of whatever you need. But I am going to use this knife for eating what it was tended, intended for. Okay? I'm going to do what the box says because I love marketing. And this is brilliant. Um, I bought mine. I got mine at uh, smkw.com, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, they own the Rough Rider brand, and they're always back for life. So if you know if you overcook your steak and somehow you snap the, this knife, and you you send it back, and they'll send you a new one, which is pretty freaking cool for fourteen ninety nine. That's my review. That's it. It is cool. I do like, I know a lot of people are going to say this. Oh, man, the, the bones die differently on each side. There's no consistency in the bone die. I like that. And you know why I like that? Because no bone is the same. I like it. I think it brings a uniqueness to the knife. I think it brings character to the knife. I use my knives. I have one safe queen in my entire collection of 160 knives and that is a 1978 boker and i'm just not going to use it because my grandpa gave it to me but check that out get you one of those they are stupid cool it's going to be a pumpkin carving knife too you're going to see a lot of people carving pumpkin i'm pretty sure you can get on their website and uh, watch uh, somebody, I don't know who it was, they carved the whole jacket lantern with this knife. So, to me, they're built to last. 440A is just fine with me because everybody knows it's about that heat treat, and I think they got a decent heat treat on that. And it sharpens up real nice and keeps an edge real nice. But other than that, I got nothing else more better to say about that. Pick you up one of these. The Rough Rider Carnivore Jack. Boy, is that a freaking cool knife right there. I love it. If I had something bad to say about it, I would. I just don't. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know if it helped you. Let me know if you have the same thoughts about the Carnivore Jack. Uh for the money, you can't beat them, man. You just can't beat these kind of knives for the money. They're impressive. It, and they just improve every year. Rough Rider is just getting better every year. I've been buying Rough Riders for the last five years. And five years ago, I was like, okay, these are cool. I like them when I was first getting into traditionals. And um, I just kept on buying some more and more and more. And I've never got a bad one. So I just keep buying them because I must be the luckiest man on the planet. Because I love them, and I'm going to keep buying them because they're pretty. They're just pretty. And for the price, you can buy a bunch of them. And when you lose them or you break them, even though they're guaranteed for life, you're not that upset about it, right? Right. So go get yourself a big steak. Go buy one Carnivore Jack at smkw.com and uh, enjoy and eat your steak in style. All right, guys, that's my review. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at OneBigPikey. I appreciate everybody who's watching. 
Thank you very much and uh, have a great day. Bye.